hello welcome to my youtube channel thanks for tuning in today i'll be showing you another amazing recipe as always how to make the most delicious the most tasty coconut fried rice you know that sweet sweet fried rice that you cannot have enough it's so nice so delicious that's what i'll be making so if you're new to my channel or this is your first time here please tap on the red subscribe icon and please subscribe now for more yummy and tasty recipes so let's get right into this so after washing out my rice thoroughly and taking out all the starch you can see how clear the water is and i put some water just slightly above the level of the rice and i go ahead to add um, about a teaspoon of salt next i'm going to be adding a cup of coconut milk so i just stir this together nicely and so after adding my coconut milk and my salt and stirring everything nicely i went in to add about two tablespoons of salted butter that's one of the secret ingredients to just make your rice melt in your mouth and this just brings a lot of flavor to this fried rice after that i'm going to go in with my chicken seasoning cube and as you can see i'm using all the two cubes that comes um, with a packet i don't bother about the butter because once this rice starts boiling it's going to melt nicely all over the rice so yeah i just want my chicken seasoning to kind of go around the rice you know so once everything is well combined again um, i'm going to let this simmer on medium heat until the rice is kind of half done or almost done but not quite done yet you know <laughs> so um i let everything sit and it's going to cook beautifully um for about 15 to 20 minutes So once my rice is cooking, I'm going to melt um, again a tablespoon of salted butter and once my butter is melted, guess what? Of course, I'm going to saute some delicious chopped onions, of course. Yeah, so I just want this to um, kind of get to that translucent stage like, you know, they kind of look like they're sweating and they look beautiful and translucent and it's just oozing out this amazing and delicious aroma oh my gosh i wish you could smell this so once um my onions look kind of translucent i'm going to go ahead and add my seasoned shrimps oh this is so 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 delicious guys um you can see all the seasoning i use for the shrimps of course my shrimps have been washed and deveined and i'm just going to go ahead to saute them nicely and beautifully um, um, i stir this lightly and i'm just going to let this saute in that onion and that melted butter and guys this smells delicious i'm just going to let this cook for about five minutes and yeah once my shrimps kind of look dried and they look ready i'm going to just set this aside So yeah, my shrimps are ready, good to go. Um, I set aside and I move on to the next step. So I go back to the same pot and I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of cooking oil and I just want to saute my beef. My beef is already seasoned, it's already, um, it's already cooked, seasoned and chopped up into beautiful cubes. I'm going to saute this nicely until it's golden brown.
So once my beef is well sauteed and looks golden brownish, I take it out and set aside. Next, it's time for me to saute all my chopped veggies which I'll be using for my fried rice. So I start off sauteing my onions. You can see I've chopped them up nicely. So I give the onions a stir and I just let it cook for a little bit, about two minutes or so. Next, I'm going in with my chopped carrots and green beans and I just mix all of this together. And guys, you can see all of that caramelization um, on the pot from the shrimps from the beef all that brown juicy stuff the crunchy stuff that looks like it's sticking to the pot trust me, my veggies is just going to melt in all of that and soak all of that up I add in some chopped green onions and chopped green bell peppers and I'm just going to continue to stir and saute this beautifully. So after adding all of this together, I'm just going to stir and combine everything nicely. And guys, my chopped veggies just smell delicious. They smell amazing. Lastly, I'm going in with some chopped red bell peppers. And guys, this just adds the burst of color and the burst of flavor that this dish just needs just the right amount of color and flavor that my fried rice needs guys look at how delicious and yummy this looks i mean i cannot wait to try this i'm sure you cannot wait to try this recipe as well so i go ahead and i stir this together beautifully and you don't want this to overcook you just want to saute this and you know just let it you know to have that moisture to have that sweetness to eat um you don't need to season any of this because everything as you can see everything that was on the bottom of my pot you know that crunchy um seasoning that was like kind of getting burned my veggies have soaked and swept everything off that is enough for this chopped veggies you don't need to add in any seasoning to this it smells and trust me it tastes delicious So once I'm done sauteing all my chopped veggies, I set aside and I'm going to go ahead and melt about 2 tablespoons of salted butter and once that's melted, I'm going to add about half cup of cooking oil and I just heat this up and once it's hot, yes, I'm going to saute more onions because you can't have enough onions in fried rice guys, you know that already. So yeah i'm going to saute more onions of course you cannot have enough onions in fried rice so yeah i mean i'm going to saute more chopped onions and i just stir this up until they're nice and um slightly brown So once this is beginning to look slightly brown, I'm going to go ahead and add about 3 tablespoons of my meat stock. This meat stock is the bomb. You have to get this meat stock right because this is like the base of your rice. It's going to hold the taste of your finished and your cooked fried rice. So once you add that, I'm just going to go ahead and add a cup of coconut milk into this meat stock and sauteed onions and once that is done of course i'm just going to season everything up and this is delicious you want this to taste slightly heightened so that when you add in the rice everything just balances off so once I'm satisfied with the taste of the sauce, 
of course i'm just going to add my rice into this and i'm going to stir everything nicely until it combines beautifully So once you add your rice and you start stirring, if you feel like your rice looks dry, you can go ahead to add in more cooking oil at this point. So you just want to stir nicely until everything combines beautifully. So once your rice has combined nicely to the sauce, it tastes delicious, you're happy with it. It's time to start adding all the accessories to your fried rice as I like to call them. So I start with my chopped fried beef after this i'm going to go ahead and add my sauteed chopped veggies you can see how this just brings color to the fried rice um i go ahead and i add all of this and i'm going to just stir this and let everything just you know soak into the rice and just combine nicely and everything looks yummy and finally we're not going to forget our sauteed shrimps that just takes this rice to the next level guys this is so yummy this is so so delicious once i've added this in it's time to just combine everything nicely you already know So after stirring everything up, um, I know some people leave it at the stage, but I like to cover with aluminium foil and just let this sit on low heat again for five minutes. The steam and everything just cooks for five minutes and the rice is delicious for me. I love to do this last step for my fried rice and guys, this is the end result. The rice looks so yummy. It tastes delicious. So guys, my rice is ready. It's time to serve and enjoy this yummy and delicious coconut fried rice with shrimps and beef i hope you enjoyed watching this video i love 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 this recipe it's so yummy it's so delicious please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share and if you have not yet subscribed please don't forget to subscribe as well thanks guys stay tuned bye